Good day and great health. This is Dr. Jerica Sarko. I am a pediatric family wellness and upper cervical specific chiropractor. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about immunity. Now, this video is not meant to be a detailed analysis of the subject. Instead, I'll attempt to overview a few main points. Let's begin. There are two ways we obtain immunity, either through natural immunity or artificial immunity. Today, we'll talk about the differences between them. To start off, let's talk a little bit about how an infection gets us sick in the first place. Enter the pathogen. These are viruses, bacteria, germs, and any other foreign substance that can make you sick. We are often naturally exposed to them through breathing them in or ingesting them. A pathogen contains a unique marker called an antigen. The body recognizes antigens as a foreign substance that can harm the body. If these antigens get into a cell, they create an intracellular infection. The good news is that we have white blood cells that look for pathogens and the antigens that they carry. White blood cells tell the body that it needs to create antibodies to destroy these antigens. This is called a cell-mediated response, which creates specific antibodies to combat the pathogen. Now, the cell-mediated response does take a while to happen. The immune system needs to communicate with the whole body in order to analyze the best course of action. The cell-mediated response is like a well-thought-out military campaign. The immune system needs to strategize the most effective battle plan to defeat the enemy, the pathogen. The more planning the immune system does, the stronger the plan will be. Our health benefits from this plan. After the cell-mediated response is formed and carried out, its effects will generally last an entire lifetime. The next time that that same pathogen enters the body, the immune system already has a plan of attack drawn up and ready to implement. The immune system can quickly and efficiently strike down the pathogen. Natural immunity is acquired through the cell-mediated response. Our immune system has one other reaction to pathogens besides the cell-mediated response. Situations such as bee stings, pollen exposure, and food allergies require something faster. This is called a humoral response. This allergic-centered response creates a large number of non-specific antibodies in a very short time. One way to think about the difference between a cell-mediated response and a humoral response is to compare the difference between an ambulance to a hospital. The humoral response is like an ambulance. It is designed to quickly stabilize someone in an emergency, usually in desperate situations. The cell-mediated response is like a hospital. It is designed for strategic care and prolonged supervision. With most allergic events, the pathogen has not infected the cells yet, but the space around the cell. This is called an extracellular infection. White blood cells are constantly on the lookout for extracellular infections as well. When an extracellular infection is located, the white blood cells tell the body to quickly create antibodies, hence a humoral response the ultra-fast creation of non-specific antibodies. When compared to the slower cell-mediated response, the humoral response produces massive spikes in non-specific antibodies at lightning speed. However, the humoral response doesn't create the long-lasting effects that the cell-mediated response does when it comes to antibody production. Now, let's talk about artificial immunity. Artificial immunity attempts to bypass the normal cascade of events that occur with an intracellular infection in order to produce antibodies. A vaccine is the most common way to acquire artificial immunity. Generally speaking, a vaccine injects a dose of a weakened pathogen into the space around our cells. This replicates an extracellular infection and creates a humoral response. And like all humoral responses, the effects are not long lasting. Antibody production is short lived. This is the main difference between artificial immunity and natural immunity. Artificial immunity is gained through a humoral response and is short lived. Natural immunity is gained through a cell mediated response and has the potential to last a lifetime. Thank you very much for listening. 
If you have any other questions or looking for more information, please check out ohiospecific.com. Thanks again. Have a great day and great health.